Phone vlog, phone vlog. Listen, we're on our way to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 3, baby. Me and Jalissa here. Say hi. Hey, listen. Hi. Just be cool. Pre rating. You know, there's a lot of hype around this, even in the community here. I want to say it's probably going to be a super good movie. Preemptively, I'm giving it a super solid, maybe even high 8 out of 10. My hopes are high. There's a lot of emotion, apparently. Somebody in my community, Ramen Edits, said to get your tissues out just in case. So we're going to see if it holds up. I'll check back in a little bit. For an official 0% movie review. Thank you to Motion for this intro. Go support his channel. It's linked down in the description below. Continue with the review. Yo, oh my God, vlog, I forgot. Okay, listen. Sorry, I forgot to finish this video. Preemptive score was about an 8 out of 10. Amazing, super solid score. The score changed to a 9 out of 10. Bro, that, that, that movie was amazing. Amazing movie. One of the best Marvel movies, for sure. The best Marvel movie, no. And that's just because of the, the, the amount of uh, amazing shit that Marvel has done. Um, it just can't be, right? But amazing movie, without a doubt. Best fight scenes? I would actually say because of one scene, it's up it's up there. And I was saying better than Shang-Chi, but to be honest, Shang-Chi had a lot of really good fight scenes. Really well choreographed. And the, the one that has so much respect in my mind is in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So much respect. It was so fucking cool. Amazing, amazing shit. Um I'm thinking of maybe putting in like a spoiler review to like give people some time to watch it. I, I don't want to make this a spoiler review or anything like that. Amazing movie. Pulls on the heartstrings a little bit. You're going to cry a little bit. If not, then you're at least going to hold back some tears. I found myself just kind of trying to swallowing, swallowing my tears a little bit. Um, surprising. If you haven't gotten leaked already, surprising that, that things didn't happen and some things did happen. It's surprising. I'm, I was surprised. Uh, not something that you like. It, it leaves me questioning. Like, why didn't they do certain things? But also, I'm I'm glad I was surprised because going into a movie, kind of expecting things, all of the rumors, all of the the leaks, you're kind of scared that like, damn, do I already know what's gonna happen in this movie? But I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and even things being like. Do I want to say unfinished? I don't know if that's the right word. That's why. It's just nice to be like, this is a real progressive story that can go on, that you can see go on. And it's it's interesting. It's more interesting that way than just like a fairy tale bookend to like a, a story. Um, it's definitely a continuation story. Um, anyway, amazing, amazing. Definitely in my top 10 for sure. Has to... Is it in my top five? It's, oof, I don't even know what my top five is. I'd have to think about it, but definitely in the top 10. Super good. Guardians 1 was amazing. Guardians 2, in my opinion, was ass. I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was ass. It was, it was just okay. It was like, whatever. Guardians 3, absolute redemption. Super fucking good. Um, and I'm, ha I'm happy that James Gunn pulled it off. You know, he's one of the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, directors. Now he's going to DC. Hopefully he brings that same energy to DC. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Super good. Super good. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.